Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Review and Review. Today we are going to unbox the Telstar 18. This is the World Cup ball. Usually in the group stages it was black, but ever since we have got to the knockout rounds, it is now red and perhaps in the final it will be gold. But here we have three balls. They look the same. Probably from that angle it looks the same. But it is very different in terms of pricing, in terms of quality, in terms of the build. So we're gonna go through each of them. Starting with this. So this is the official Telstar 18 match ball. These are used in the real FIFA matches. And as you can see, it comes in a box. It's very rare to buy a ball and it exactly. comes in such yes. packaging, that's, right? That's, why that's it's because it costs $190. Uh, you better give me a box if it costs $190. Right? Yeah. A few years ago when I was a kid, I would never think that I would one day spend so much money on a ball. Exactly. Yes. It's like you pay $190 to buy something to kick around. Yes. Yeah. Hard paint, hard paint. So there are micro beads on the cover of this ball. That's why it's the texture is like this. It's very good for gripping. So in 2006, they came out with the Team Guys. And the Team Guys in Germany, a lot of people complained about it because it was a very different shape and it kept moving in the air. It didn't have these micro beads. Yeah. Then, 2010, South Africa, there was the Jabulani. Oh, and yeah. people also complained about it as well. But in Brazil, in 2014, it was much better. The Brazuka, and basically that also had the micro beats. Yes. Here's a fun fact for you, right? The word Telstar derives from two words, television and star, which is actually fitting for World Cup because it is proven that the World Cup is the most viewed event in the world. In the world. So this is not the first time they used the word Telstar. It was actually first appeared in 1970s World Cup in Mexico. As you look at the ball, it's very prominent that uh, the paneling of the ball is very weird. Another cool thing to point out is that they have the official FIFA stamp, which is... They have Wi-Fi too. This is not no, Wi-Fi. Wi <laughs> this is not Wi-Fi. It's not Wi-Fi. That's what I thought Get at first. Get out, Vincent! But this is called the NFC, the Near Field Communications. So what you do is that you download this app on your phone, you scan this thing, and it will give you details and information about this ball and it will yeah. bring you to a website to basically, promotions and stuff like that. Basically, you know? it does nothing for you. Yeah, it does nothing for it's you. It's gonna tell you it costs yeah. $190. An interesting thing is it also tells you that how many times the ball has been tapped and where in the world it has been tapped. But really, like, what value does that information yeah, add to exactly you? Oh, why? my ball has been tapped like 10 times by people I don't know. Like, maybe it's good for Adidas. Maybe they can gather some user database, yes, but really... for stats I'm, purposes. I'm not even gonna bother. Yeah. Uh, another thing to note about the design is... Uh, the valve. The valve, it's usually black. If you can see, the, the font is a actually the same font that you see on the Adidas jerseys on the um, Adidas teams in the World Cup. So for $190... Nah. It, it depends on on what purpose you're using Exactly. For. Like honestly, if you play football once every... Once a month? Once a no. month? No, but maybe once every week then I yes. would suggest, yeah, it's a, it's a good ball to invest in. So yeah, $190. Moving on. So next up, we have the official replica of the ball. Yep. This is... It's called the Top Replique. It's, it's, it says replique. Top Replique. So it's a, basically a replica of the match ball. It is going at $50 and honestly, it feels pretty good. Uh, the panels are different. Yes, totally there different. There are really a lot, different. there is a lot going on. You can see squares. If you can see, it is really, the shape of it is really one line through the middle. Oh this. wow, I didn't even see that. Yeah, yeah. It, it looks like if you If, if you notice, it, it's one either around. one strip yeah. around and, and around basically, here as well two semi-circles. Honestly, this is $140 cheaper, cheaper than the one we just reviewed and I a like ball is a ball. I like this better though. Why do you like this better? The texture it's looks cheaper. No, the what do you mean the better. texture looks cheaper? The other one looks a bit too shiny for me and this one it looks just shiny. Nice looks too shiny. Yeah. You can see here the valve is black again as usual. So there is a square and it's sort of weird to have a square on yes. a ball, especially when a ball is supposed to be spherical. I mean, it, it looks good, it does look round and it is FIFA quality. Yes, but there, there's no NFT it's not, here. it's not the official FIFA ball, but it is. it meets the FIFA standards. Yes. The best part so is cheap. $50 for a ball, it's still pretty expensive, well, especially if, if you're if you're if you're a kid and you're just playing around. Yeah, it's still I really expensive. Don't remember spending so much when I was younger. I would say like twenty three dollars, twenty twenty seven dollars, twenty five. If you're playing casually, you just get this. Yeah. Yes, I mean yeah. like if you're the kind that plays like once a month, then this is the ball for you. Yes, yeah. exactly. Moving on, we have 
this would Whoa. be sort of the third grade yes. compared to the first and second that we reviewed. This is actually the top glider and this would be the best seller because it is going at $35. $35 for a ball is actually pretty affordable yes. and I can see a lot of people buying it. Closely, the panels Closely, great, you can great. see the stitching. The stitching You can see the very stitching obvious. is uh, very bad and if you are someone who play on the street, I mean in Singapore, a lot of people play in, in street soccer, right? Yes. You use this in the street, let me tell you, it's gonna break. Design, the printing also, it just looks like... Uh, it just looks like you... Stuck something. Yeah. I mean, it just looks like it you looks went like to iron a iron yeah, yeah. stickers. <laughs> you look. It looks like you went on a went to a really bad printing shop to get it. It's okay. slippery. Oh, yeah. It's very oh, yeah, slippery. Yeah, yeah. One one thing I noticed is that the panels are bigger. Yes. So it does look like a volleyball. The squares aren't even squares. Yeah. You know. They're not yeah. squares. Thirty-five dollar ball. Why not? And finally, we have. This is not an official ball by Adidas. Nope. I honestly don't know what this is. You know, know what it is? You know what it is? It's an abomination. Oh. Just look at that colour. When we bought it, it does come in a few colours. There's the winter version, which is orange. orange yes. uh, there was a blue version. Strange colours for a ball. If you're playing in normal conditions like this, in the snow, you would need an orange ball. Yeah. So that's why they actually make orange balls. The stitching looks very much like the top glider. Stitching wise, yes, uh, it's very obvious the stitching and it has a very rubbery feel to it. But let me tell you one thing, this ball is going at $20. $20 for a ball compared to the top glider at $35, I think this is better. I don't know what this is, I don't know where to get it. Honestly, I just bought it at Queensway but I think this is good. That's this called the top glider, this is the glider. Compared to the first ball, which is $190, this is actually $20, which means you can buy 9 of this and you still have $10, which you can go to Queensway and buy laksa. And curry rice. And, and curry, curry rice. rice. And mochi. Or you yeah. just typical go McDonald's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And okay. at least you have. Alright, so out of all the balls, what do you think? Honestly, to me, I would go with the $190. It, despite what? the price. Really? It comes every once in four years. That's true. My favourite ball mm. so far that I've been playing with is the Champions League ball. I always mm. find it very interesting how it's shaped with the stars. I think this is pretty good too. Telstar kind of sounds like a like a free free channel. Yeah. The kind of channel like after 12 a.m. they cut down all the shows. Or like a really bad phone company. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, Telephone that you go star. to the airport and you go for Telstar and they tell you that you have unlimited data for seven days but in the end it runs out after three days. That's the kind of shit Telstar Happens sounds all like. The Happens Telstar. all the time. <laughs> Telstar. But hey, I would go with the $190. What about you? I go with the 51 honestly. I go with the 50 as well, yeah. yeah. Okay, if you, have, if, if you have a little bit of money to uh, spend on getting a good ball, I would suggest this. But if you already have a bunch of balls, you just want to get something extra, yeah, 50. For your spend the item. extra $15 on the $50 ball. So let's give this a test! So after kicking the ball around for a good half an hour, we have to say that the best ball for me is going to be the Top Epica. I think the $50 one was the best. Uh, that's what I said. Is the Top Epica is the $50 yeah, yeah. ball. I was agreeing with you. I was agreeing with you. I like the $50 Of course, $50 yes. One. But the Telstar official ball definitely feels good. Uh, had a lot of swerve to it, had a lot of curl to it. Felt lighter as well. Good grip. Maybe I, I'm slightly biased because of the price. $198 to a $50. Not much difference. When it comes to kicking the ball around, but I, I kind of like the, the $50 What well, has a different ball. sound when you kick it? What's the different sound? I like the sound. How much your favourite ball? Uh, my favourite is the Telstar official match ball. Of it course. feels good. Feels good. Alright guys, so we'll also be doing a giveaway of these balls and we can sign them as well. All you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below and let us know what football challenges you would like us to do for the next video. Yes. Yeah. 
maybe so involve nice. tying up someone to the goalpost? Yes, maybe it involves tying Ridwan to the goalpost and hitting him. But if you come with a good suggestion and we actually do it, then we will give a ball to you. For not, you. Not this ball. For you. Why not? I want to give this. This is my ball. The ball's in your pants. 